All right, everyone, if you will, we're going to stand up, I guess, and you're going to play some music and cheer for our graduates. Does that sound good? I never get that kind of introduction, so I think what I'm going to do is every time I have to speak, I'm going to ask you guys to come first, because uh, what a great way to start off the day, and I know that everyone here is so proud of you and excited to have you here, so uh, thank you all for joining us. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Brian Lee, and I am the president of St. Mary's Hospital. Um, I know you all celebrate with me and with our graduates that just all came in, so we're excited for them. Uh, and, and I want to acknowledge a few partners who uh, join us uh, in our efforts with Project Search. Uh, they are Henrico County Public Schools, uh, VCU Rehab Research and Training Center, uh, Virginia Department for Aging and Rehab Services, so great partners with us in Project Search. Uh, like Project Search, St. Mary's has a history of providing good help to our community. Uh, we've been blessed to have the organization here since 2009, uh, so very fortunate with uh, a long-standing history and partnership. Over the years, these students have taught us many things. They've taught us how to look at our jobs differently, whether it's our choice of words, uh, the way we perform a task, or how to interact with each other. Uh, our associates have also learned very much from these students over the years. Um, their special gifts and talents have given us many opportunities to showcase them and also help us all understand if you give someone a platform and an opportunity to showcase their talents and they will rise to the occasion. Uh, really, again, lots of people to thank, but just want to end with acknowledging our class of graduates here. Uh, you all have uh, done many things over the past, you know, really months here at St. Mary's. I've seen many of you. Uh, in the halls and on the floors, uh, uh, and we just want to thank you all for your hard work each and every day, and I know everyone welcomes you and wishes you all the best in future endeavors, and so we've got a good slate of people that are going to speak, and I think uh, next up we've got is at least that's going to be here. after me, but that's okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name's Alyssa Brook. Hey. Uh, I work for VCU's Rehabilitation Research and Training Center, and I am the site coordinator for Project Search here at St. Mary's Hospital. I have been here since our first year, and I'm very excited and uh, proud for our 12th year of graduates. Thank you all for joining us today as we celebrate the success of Elizabeth, Sky. Alexis, you're doing great, Courtney, Hendrick, and LJ. As we all know, this has been an unusual year. Uh, very unique with an unexpected set of challenges for all of us, but despite it all, 
These interns have done an outstanding job. I have been so impressed with the way that each of our interns not only showed up to work through a pandemic, but did so in a healthcare setting, which was courageous of each of you, and did so with smiling faces. And trust me, we could still see their smiles and feel that even behind their masks. Some of you more than others, you think? Okay, fair enough. That's how it goes everywhere. <laughs> So to the families, thank you guys so much um, for trusting us to keep your children safe, especially given the circumstances this year. The growth we have seen this year has been enormous, and I hope that you guys are all grateful that you took this risk with us. As you just heard, this program is a true partnership, and there are so many leaders at each of the organizations, um, which Brian just spoke about, that we know we couldn't do this program without them for their leadership, their guidance, and their support. Um, I also want to take a moment to just acknowledge all of the on-site staff who have been working with the interns uh, this year. And not just on-site, but just our, our close-knit team. So from DARS, stand up. We have our counselor, Rebecca Smith. <laughs> from VCU, I would like to recognize Crystal Hentz. Um, she worked with our interns every Wednesday. <laughs> as well as our everyday job coaches. So we have Austin Miller and, um, <laughs> and, and Bethany Moog Ayers. Woo! From Henrico, we have uh, the Kathys. Kathy Leomedes, our instructor, and <laughs> they're a dynamic duo. They're the Kathys. And Kathy Hobby, the instructional assistant. Um, Linda Millette was our sub. She came out several times throughout the year. Thank you. <laughs> And um, I know, I'm sorry, you weren't expecting that. And Melanie, Melanie Crocker. Um, so Melanie had a huge role in getting us approval from the county so that we could safely return to in-person learning for the year, uh, even when the rest of the Henrico students remained virtual. So the entire team put their heads together last summer and really tried to put together a plan so that we could safely return to do this program in person the way that it was meant to be done. And we owe a special thank you to Henrico County personnel for understanding the value in providing the program in person the way it was meant to be done and um, also for Henrico County for trusting us with their students. So it's a really good team. <clears throat> Excuse me. All of these team members exude positive energy. You can feel it with the students as well. Um, they have a gift for taking students and turning them into employees. It will happen in a matter of time for everyone here and um, really helping to guide these students to reach their potential. So you guys hit the lottery getting these guys on your team. But there's somebody else. Um, one of the keys to this program is to have a business liaison. That's a go-to person for us in the hospital. We share our successes with them. We navigate challenges with them. And um, in December, we experienced a great loss when Amanda Chimay pulled me aside and whispered in my ear that she was going to Memorial Regional. So we, she broke that news and we were concerned because Amanda was our go-to person for six years. And she left from some very big shoes to fill. So we were a little bit nervous, but we were happy to have Francis Carpe jump at the opportunity to be the new liaison. So, uh, after the first meeting I had with Francis, I literally breathed a huge sigh of relief and called up my boss, Jennifer McDonough, and told her right away that he got it, he believed in our students, he believed in the program, and Amanda left us in good hands. Um, we sincerely appreciate the support and welcoming that employees at every level of the business here provide to Project Search. We know we aren't St. Mary's employees, but we do feel like we are, um, and we really appreciate the way you've included us in your family. It's the, the culture of inclusion and the community that you've created here that um, has really created this nurturing environment for our, our program to be so successful. So congratulations again to our graduates. You have been a phenomenal group to work with. We are so excited to celebrate each of you guys today. You've already made a difference, as you've heard, in the lives of so many people in the St. Mary's community. And we know that you will do the same no matter what business you end up working in. Just bring that same sense of determination, your courage, and your smile with you when you go to work, and your future employers will be very lucky to have you. So, you're welcome. You guys did great. 
Um, I would like to invite uh, our partner from DAR, Sharina Sewell, up to come share some words with us. Good afternoon, everybody. I am not Kathy Hayfield. <laughs> but if you happen to see her on the street, tell her I represented her well, even if you think I didn't. So <laughs> thank you. My name is Sharina Sewell. I'm the district director for the Department for Aging and Rehabilitative Services. And it is so good to be back home. I know many of you are like, what are you talking about? This is St. Mary's. This is not your house. But it feels like home. Every time I come back here, I feel like I am visiting friends and family. And I know all of you graduating are going to feel the same way. Even if you don't end up here, no matter where you go, I hope you know and feel that you are always welcome here and that there are people that you can't see very often that are rooting for you. There are people who will always believe in you and what you do. And so on those days, when you're starting a new job and you're not sure if you're going to like it, or you're not sure if your other coworker is going to like you, or you don't know what the heck your manager's talking about, know that we all are cheering for you, okay? And it's normal. Know that we got you. You know the phrase, we got your back? Yep. That's everybody in here, and I hope you realize that no matter what you do, you're going to be great because this, this, this program prepared you for it. You all worked hard. You were dedicated. And it will take you really, really far. I personally want to thank Henrico County Public Schools, the Department of Education, Bon Secours, St. Mary's, and of course VCU RRTC for making this program happen. I know uh, last summer we weren't sure what was going to happen and if you guys could even come here. And at the end of the day, here you are. You know, I said this to some other students last week from another program. I said, you know, being at a hospital, you guys were really working around rock stars. Everyone in this hospital, rock stars. Well, that's you. You were here helping people, serving people, making them well. And we really appreciate all the hard work you do. Please continue to do that no matter what you do. And the last thing I just want to say is as you go forward in your new jobs, as you graduate from school, graduate from St. Mary's, and you say bye-bye to Project Search and all these wonderful people, so don't be fearful of what's next, okay? I'm going to give you a quote, and I said this last week, but no one heard me but Alyssa, so I'm going to say it again. <laughs> so it goes like this, okay? Faith and fear both require you to believe in things you cannot see. Faith and fear require you to believe in things you cannot see, but you get to choose which one you believe in. So I hope you all choose faith, work hard, make us proud, keep going no matter what you do. Thank you and congratulations. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, good afternoon to my graduates. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I am so proud to be the business liaison for our Project Search graduates. Uh, you all have made me so very proud. And this was my very first year here. And when Amanda handed this group to me, I just knew you were going to be great. I knew you were going to be awesome. Why? Because I knew how each and every one of you have worked so hard to get where you are. And although today and every day has been a rough ride in this pandemic, you all have overcome so much to be where you are today. So today my speech is about something that you've done and something very simple. You've taken the first step to your careers. You're taking the very first step to success. And you should be so proud of yourselves and proud of each other because you are family. You are an awesome group that really works hard. And as we had the opportunity to let you intern with so many of us, we knew you were going to be great. We knew you were going to work hard. We knew you were going to come to work. We knew your families have given so much to see you be successful. And as I walk through the hallways and see you cry and <laughs> laugh and be happy, 
The joys that you bring to us make us proud. And I'm so happy to have my administrative team here and Tara, Aaron, and Brian, because you guys represent us here at Bon Secours, and this is a great place to work. And I know you guys have had an awesome time working with everybody here, working in dietary, working in EVS, and the many other departments that have helped support you. But more so, you've been a joy for us. The laughter you give us, the hugs, the hand pumps, all of that, you know? That's what makes life so much worth living and why we come to work every day is because we know that when you live with faith, and you live with courage, and you give that everyday hard work that you will be successful. And we want you to be successful here, wherever you may be, because you have a positive attitude. You have strength. You have togetherness. But most of all, you have a family. Every person in this room is going to be willing to help you, to support you, to be there if you need a shoulder to cry on, to be there if you need somebody to laugh with. And that's why I do this job, is because I get to work with you. Because you make my everyday wonderful. And as I was telling my kids practicing this speech, you know, and they're all laughing at me, you're gonna be great, you're gonna be great. I said, no, if I, I, I got it, thank you. <laughs> that's my support group right here. And, I just want everybody in this room to know how much they truly mean to me, to our coaches, our teachers, everyone here, because I know you're going to do great things for your families. I know you're going to do great things for yourselves. Uh, Tanya and I love you every day. Um, so we really, truly appreciate everything you've done to help our patients and visitors here at Bon Secours St. Mary's, and just know that if you ever need anything, please don't hesitate to call. Please don't hesitate to come by. Please don't hesitate to talk about the great experience that you've had here at Bon Secours St. Mary's. It is awesome, yeah. And I love working here every day, so. Um, I know that's right. <laughs> and it, I, I want everybody in this room to say that I want to work here, you know? So thank you for all that you've done. Continue to succeed, continue to take so many steps forward and continue to be the best you can be. Congratulations to you graduates. Overjoyed and delighted to be here. Sky, I'm not going to look at you because you're going to make me cry. <laughs> and I'm not going to cry today. Cry. I'm not going to cry. Um, I, I, have, I have been blessed to have the responsibility to work with Project Search as one of my job. It's one of my job requirements. Um, and I have to say, one is glad I'm glad to be here. And two, I'm glad to be here. Yes. I have been with the team the whole year through a computer screen. And I am so glad to be here with them today. But I want to say I want to I parrot what everybody else has said. But you guys have been absolutely amazing. Now, while other Henrico County Public School students we're doing what we all know as synchronous and asynchronous instruction, where they were either at home and their teacher was on the computer with them working, or they were at home and they were working on assignments on their own. All other Henrico County Public School students, they've been doing it that way. But you all, we've been here since day from the first day of school, you have been here. You can read my mind. You have been here. and. I want to say an, a special thank you to some people who are working behind the scenes and in front of the scenes. We have our specialist from Henrico County Schools, Maggie Walsh. She was behind the scenes making this happen. The Director of Exceptional Education, Dr. Donna Davenport, she was behind the scenes making this happen. Dr. Katie Smith, 
They were behind the scenes making this happen so you guys could be here. Now, you six interns, you were here in the hospital every day, and you know what I consider you? Essential workers. And I want you to know how much I appreciate your service this year. So I talked about my role with Henrico County Public Schools and working with Project Search. But I also work with students who are taking career and technical education courses at the Advanced Career Education Center. That's where I met LJ, I met Courtney, I met Alexis, I met Sky, I met Elizabeth. They were all taking CTE courses. Something that I noticed, and when I met Hendrick during his interview, and I, and I do a lot of things behind the scenes that you all don't know that I'm doing, but I found out that Hendrick was in JR, J, Navy JROTC at Verona High School. So while you guys, I get, it, I get the vantage point that I see you all in school, and then maybe two, three, four years later, I see you in Project Search. And I just want you to know how proud I am of what you're doing. Now, there were several years ago, the state of Virginia came, they did this research, and they were asked employers, what is it that you look for for people when you're getting ready to hire them? And employers are like, yeah, we want them to know what they're doing, but there's some, there are 22 skills that we call workplace readiness skills that we want them to know. Now, I'm not going to tell you all, all the 22 workplace readiness skills, but since I haven't seen you all in person all year, I'm going to need you to help me with the rest of this, okay? <laughs> all right? So I'm not going to name the 22 workplace readiness skills, but there's six that I want you guys to help me with, okay? okay? So when I call your name, I want you to come here, hold this card up, and stand beside me, okay? okay. All right? You ready? So I hope I don't mix the cards up. All right. Alexis, one workplace readiness skill is initiative, okay? Alexis is holding initiative because I know that everybody can attest to the fact that Alexis has definitely gained some skills in taking the initiative. The next letter I'd like, LJ, can you help me? Will you hold this for me? Can you stand? Yep. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. So, Alex, um, LJ is holding determined. If you know LJ, and I know LJ from Hermitage, I know LJ, when he gets it in his mind that that's what he's going to do, that's what he's going to do. <laughs> and his determination has grown and developed because the same thing I've seen when I've seen his reflection and directions that have happened here. Okay? The next person I'd like to come help me is Hendrick. Hendrick, can you hold this eye and stand beside LJ? Sure. Thank you, buddy. Hendrick's eye is integrity. Something I learned about Hendrick. Hendrick is going to make sure that it's done right and that he does it right. And so Hendrick is holding integrity. Um, can I get <laughs> Courtney? Courtney's holding another D. For dedication. Courtney, can you stand behind Hendrick? Thank you. Courtney's quiet, very quiet, but her commitment and her dedication speaks volumes. The next letter I'd like Elizabeth. Can you hold this? Elizabeth's letter is independent. One thing I learned about Elizabeth, once she learned the skill, she was able to move and do it without a whole lot of assistance. And then the last letter, <laughs> Sky. Sky's letter is T for team player. And you heard Sky as a team player. So if you all, Alexis, can you help and, do, and take the initiative? And I'm going to hold yours. Can you stand in front and read what this says? Read the big letters. N I D I D I T. What does that say? Uh, I I did. I did. I did. All right. So, come back. So, Alexis, can you read? What does it say again? I did it. What does it say? All in turn. What does it say? Now, Woo! now, I all right, 
right, so, yes, you did. Yes, you did. So, Alexis, yes. LJ, Hendrick, Courtney, Elizabeth, and Skye, you completed internships in St. Mary's Hospital and different departments throughout the ho hospital, like environmental services, materials management, women's imagery, imagery, imagery. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, and everybody here, yes, where is my, where is it? Yes, she did. You did, Woo! yes, you did. Um, L Alexis, LJ, Hendrick, Courtney, Elizabeth, and Sky, each one of you have either been offered a job, you have either been interviewed for a job, or you're preparing for energy interviews for a job. You did it. Yes, yes you did. did. Yes, she did. And your initiative, determination, integrity, dedication, independence, and teamwork are skills that you have gained that have helped you get where you are today, and you did it. Yes, you did. Now, I remember in LJ's reflection and direction last meeting, LJ's mom got overwhelmed when she saw how much he had grown. And what, his mom, what LJ's mom kept saying was, it takes a village. <laughs> the phrase, it takes a village, refers to an African proverb that basically says it takes an entire community of people working together to raise a child and help them grow to their highest potential. So while these six interns stand here, and yes, they did do it, I want them to share something with you. Alexis, will you please turn your letter around? LJ, will you please turn your letter around? Hendrick, will you please turn your letter around? Courtney, will you please turn your letter around? <laughs> Elizabeth, will you please turn your letter around? And Sky, will you please turn your letter around? Yes, Project Search Interns, Class of 2021, you did it. But this day would not have happened without the important role that each and every one of you played as a part of their village. Thank you, interns. Thank you. Everybody's taking all my good ideas. I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> but anyway, I'm, I'm glad to be here. And I, what I was going to say was, you know, it's our 12th year, which Alyssa, Alyssa, uh, Alyssa has already said. And we would have he heard words like unprecedented and challenging, which are very true. But I thought that Project Search was just, it was a great year. It was a great year. And I did not hear, I want to say that I did not hear any grumblings or complainings from any of you guys about having to wear masks, about having to not be able to sit close to each other in the cafeteria. Um, you know, you, you did, you followed all the protocols that you were supposed to follow. What I did hear, just which really made it such a really exciting year for me, was things like, it's going to be a great day, and you know who, the, who you know who you are. Or, or um, today I want to set a goal for getting this much work done, you know. Or just just happy good mornings when you came in the room. And one of my favorite things at the end of the day was toodles, as some as as somebody left at the end of the day. So you know, I I just want to thank you for having that kind of attitude that made an unusual year such a really, really great year for us, for all of us who worked with you. I want to thank you for that attitude. And I always want to thank, um, I think about the, the teachers uh, a lot that prepared you guys before you came over here. All the hard work and, and all everything that they put into 
to, you know, what made you such special students when you came over here. Of course, St. Mary's for opening up the door to us for the 12th year. How appreciative we are, and I'll echo everything everybody else said, to be able to be in person here. Thank you to everybody that made that possible. And especially to the families who have raised such incredible young adults uh, that we have sitting here in front of us. So thank you so much. All right, now I want to introduce each of the individual students. And um, before I do that, I'd like to say a little bit about each one. Um, when, this, when this first uh, intern started, I had no idea that I was going to get another teaching assistant. <laughs> this young man was a, a scribe for me. He stood up at the board and he wrote things on the board. Um, when any of the other students needed help, you know, with uh, spelling, he stepped up to the plate and he helped people with spelling. And uh, one really key piece of information that I want to say to you, though, is some words that came from one of his uh, supervisors in, on the loading dock, on, which was his final internship. And he said that every day that LJ came to work, he saved him hours of work, every day that he was there. And so I think that's just a great place for you to come on up and introduce yourself, LJ. Hello, my name is LJ Kanate. My internships were in patient pharmacy with nutrition services and materials management. I love being cooperative with others because it suits me very well. Okay, our next intern was somebody that once he became comfortable with his job responsibilities, you literally could not tell the difference between him and every other person that was working around him. Uh, he just went to work. He did what he was supposed to do. And um, I want, do want to make a comment. He was our only student this year that used caravan transportation. And caravan transportation has a customer service that's kind of hard to deal with. Um, a lot of the parents will know that. <laughs> but this young man, uh, every Friday, he scheduled his own transportation to and from work for the week. And I was just so impressed. He handled it with patience and professionalism. And that is Hendrick Carey. Hello, everybody. Hello. My name is Hendrick Carey. And my first internship was on spy unit. And my second internship, I was in environmental service. And then my <laughs> and then my third internship is nutrition service, the kitchen. And I enjoyed meeting new people in my internship. <laughs> Well, I've given a nickname to our next intern, and that is The Flash. <laughs> because when she was at work, it was like whoosh, whoosh. You didn't know if she was coming or if she was going. But she liked to keep busy. And, um, and I also have another really good story. Um, this year, we had a combination of some interns that were really vocal and you know, just always had something to say. And then we had some others that were much quieter. And um, I was on the elevator with this particular young lady uh, at the end of the day, coming back from work. And there was one other person on the elevator. And um, uh, the, the doors opened. And the gentleman, he happened to be a doctor, was getting out, ready to you know, go about his day. And I heard a voice say, have a good day. And I was like, who is that? Because we worked so hard trying to get this young lady to speak up, to use her voice, and to advocate for herself. Mm -hmm. So we know it's in there, Ms. Courtney Gunter. Oh, no.
is going to be kind of My first internship was in the same team. My second internship was my third in unit. My third internship was the four interview. Okay, so anyone who is in business knows how important good customer service is. I, you know, I don't care if you're in a big hospital like this or if you're in the drive up window at a McDonald's. Um, and, you know, this, this next young lady, you know, really has a talent for that. And I don't know if you, you know, some of you at St. Mary's knows about the old credo cards, but I brought it because I wanted to read something that just really reminded me of this particular student. Well, let me see if I can find it. It just sounds just like her. Serving is our passion. We place you at the center of our attention. We touch your heart. We serve your spirit. We sh show you how sacred you are to us. Now look, I'm getting cry. Come on, come on up, Alexis. Hi, everybody. My name's Alexis Steen. Um, my first internship was labor and delivery. My second internship was. Um, uh, these clinics, and my <laughs> my third internship was laboratory services. I feel compassion when I hear the prayers over the speakers. So some of you know, and some of you don't know. For our young ladies, our 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 students who apply for Project Search, uh, you have to go through like a hands-on assessment, and then you have to go through a face-to-face -face interview. And the first time I met this lady, uh, this young lady at the hands-on assessment, I was just, I observed some really special qualities. Everybody has special qualities, but I observed in particular that this was a person that was a solution seeker. She didn't let things get in her way, and she persevered. And I wish I had, I would like to have more qualities like that. And that is Sky Anbar. Hi, my name is Sky Barton, and my three internships are Mother and the Human, Laboratory Services, and Women's I'm hopeful that my project search team will hopeful we get a great job. Like I said, we have some students who are very vocal and active and lively, and we have some students who were much quieter. And the, our last intern um, was someone who I thought exuded this quiet confidence. And, you know, she's going to be somebody that is going to be, you know, a welcome, who's going to be really welcome to an employer. Because once she understands what to do, she goes about and she does it quietly, but very efficiently. And that is Elizabeth Hi, 
all so much for everyone that could make it. Uh, I know it's kind of been a, a weird year, so that might be why we're missing a few people, but I hope you all know how much all of your supervisors appreciate the work that you've done. Thank you very much. Manager for Pediatric Specialty Clinics here at St. Mary's, and I'm so honored to be here today. 2021 has been a year we'll never forget. We have learned so many things about how to adapt to an ever-changing environment. Thank you, COVID. <laughs> <laughs> we have learned the importance of supporting each other during times of uncertainty and often fear. We've learned how to smile underneath these beautiful masks that we're wearing, and each of you have learned new skills in your internships. You all brought positive attitudes and bright mass smiles. Your work ethic has been exceptional and the support that you give each other and that you get from your coaches is incredible. Project Search is not only giving you the tools that you need to excel in the workplace, but it has also given you an opportunity to develop lifelong, lifelong relationships with each other and all of us in this room. Project Search has also given those of us who have been lucky enough to have interns in our areas the opportunity to learn from you all. Share our knowledge and passion for the work that we do helps remind us why we walk through these doors every single day. You helped remember us remember our purpose here. My day becomes brighter when I see one of you, current or past interns in the hallway. And these are relationships that we have built throughout the years and that I'll always cherish. I have to take a few minutes to just brag on Alexis. <laughs> my, this spring, my team had the opportunity of having Alexis in our practice. Um, it was an absolute joy. During the days of the week that she would be with us, her positive attitude and bright smile was infectious. It was pretty much impossible to have a bad day when Alexis was around due to her upbeat attitude, strong work ethic, and willingness to jump in and help either staff members or our patients. Alexis is thorough, pushed herself to stay on task, follow a schedule, and complete all of her tasks. Thank you, Alexis, for keeping me on track and always being a bright spot in my often hectic days. I'm sure that every single manager who had the opportunity to work with a project search intern could stand here and tell you very similar things about their experiences. You guys are awesome, and I'm sure you will do great things. We are all so proud of you and what you've accomplished and appreciate you inviting us here to take part in your special day. Congratulations, Project Search Class of 
Congratulations to our interns, now graduates. Very excited. So I get to do a lot of things, but this is bar none my favorite thing all year that I get to do. So uh, I get to be here with you, uh, and we get to send you off with a blessing from St. Mary's Hospital. So I'm going to invite our graduates to stand up, if you would. So there's a story in the Gospel of Luke that captures our reliance on God and the benefits that for those who go into deeper waters, for those who challenge themselves. So in chapter 5, Luke writes that one morning, after Simon, Peter, James, and John have toiled all night, they were out fishing all night, and they didn't catch a thing. And so they're in the, it's the morning time, and Jesus says, go out into the deeper waters. And they do. And they trust him. And they catch so many fish their boat begins to sink, and they have to ask other people for help, and he helped, they help them back in with this huge <coughs> catch. So at the beginning of this extraordinary year, each of you accepted an invitation to put out into deeper waters. In your work with Project Search, you chose to explore deeper waters in search of more, more knowledge, sharper skills, more understanding of what it means to be an adult Really, this is important for all of us. As a Catholic healthcare ministry, our work as ministry frames our understanding of the daily encounter with the divine in our patients, in their families, and in one another. We see God in all things. Your acceptance of the challenge of Project Search is a reminder to all of us to go out into deeper waters, to challenge ourselves, eyes firmly set on our God. So our celebration today represents the culmination of your work this year. This blessing then is simply serves as a communal capstone to your success in completing this year-long journey into deeper waters. So I invite everyone to bow your heads in prayer. Creator of all that is, Bless and approve our offering of these graduates here today. Their success is proof of our willingness to see you in all things, a recognition of the fruits of their labors, their trials, and their success. In the days, months, and years ahead, grant that we may come to know more clearly the purpose that our work, our learning, our faith will play in your plan to your greater glory. And may these graduates' boats be filled to overflowing. In your holy name we pray. Amen.
houses. <laughs> That's right. All right, go ahead and do okay. it. Where are we? St. Mary's Hospital. Why are we here? To learn job skills. Who are we? Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>